So as mentioned in my previous video, I'm back in my hometown in Klang for Deepawali. Today is Deepawali Eve. And usually, uh, on this particular day, normally what we do is that uh, come evening, we will offer prayers for the deceased ones and our family. And of course, we will have a good feast of nice makan as well. And being at home in Klang, Klang means there's nothing better than trying my mom's cooking. So today, this vlog is all about us preparing food, you know, just getting together you know celebrate you know of course uh, you know celebrating remember the ones that are not with us today but at the same time you know still being happy still being in good spirit with uh, with regards to the festival of lights In case you don't know, when it comes to Deepavali, the most special thing in our house is my mom's once a year mutton variable. And she's currently here right now, there. That's the star woman, ma. Look. <laughs> ah, she's so shy. <laughs> and that's my sister. Hi. Alright. Okay, so we're currently now stirring, and so we're gonna add the mutton here. Whoa, look at that, look at that. Whoa! This is good stuff, man. Real good stuff. And here's my other sister. So how long is it gonna take? At least three hours. Three hours. So this mutton is gonna be cooking for at least three hours. Now, as you all remember, last year during the pandemic, my mom actually did the first attempt. She did chicken biryani, if I'm not mistaken. So, hence why I decided that you know we had to do another vlog of of uh, Deepawali if uh, makan as well, especially especially on the once a year mutton that she always does, which till today, as I've asked everyone, is the best they ever tasted. Inside here, the mutton is still cooking. I think it's already about what? One hour. One hour plus. Well then. Look at it. Look at it how marvelous it's boiling. Still a long way to go. Okay, basically we're almost done. All the ingredients are in. The mutton is already being cooked. Take it out, look at that. Wow. Okay. All thanks to the yeah, star people here. <laughs> See, these are the two people. Okay. So if you want this, you look for them. Okay, there's a few sample of the mutton water wall that we just took out because we want to try first. So here goes nothing. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take my first bite. Hmm. Simple as a boy, fine, fine. Mutton is soft and tender. All day. Ingredients, the spices inside there, the onion, the sweet. Oh. Seriously, like, you're better learn that. Okay? Because this is only my mom only can do. So, please. Whew. Now, all that is left is we're gonna do the ghee rice and, fried chicken. and the fried chicken. So, more to come. Alright, now it's almost uh, 
It's almost 4, four o'clock in the evening. Now it's time for us to prepare the ghee rice. As you would notice, preparing the rice itself is a painstaking effort just as much as cooking the other dishes that you'll see in this video. It contains a whole lot of ghee, otherwise known as clarified butter, and is immensely rich with spices. And the one thing that is important to me in any sort of meals that involves rice, the fluffiness of the cooked rice needs to be perfect. Otherwise, it's almost as if I'm having a bad hair day, and that's not good. Luckily, my mom and sister have never failed in this aspect. They do know their rice well. Again, this video is a testament to their excellent work. I feel like Mark wins right now because I'm standing here recording all this, you know, while the whole kitchen is smell of all these spices and all that. All. <laughs> I can I can understand what Mark goes through right now. <laughs> this is for you, Mark. Hey.